Hey guys, welcome back. So today is another um, chit chat ride along with me uh, this morning. Oh wait, I was eating some grapes. This morning, um, so today guys, I am on my way to um, Lowe's Home Improvement um, to pay for my um, new fence installation. Um, I did show you guys, well, I did a video of the um, patio. Well, let me change that up. Blah, 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 blah. I did a video of the uh, backyard to show you guys uh, the space. That was a while ago, but um, I'll make sure I insert that in the ice screen or on the end. Uh, so, I went with... Uh, so, I got... Um, wait a minute, I'm watching for this traffic. So, I uh, got three quotes from three different companies. And there's a little story about that. Uh, so I got three different quotes from uh, three different companies. Uh, the first company here was called um, uh, Oliver Fencing. And actually, um, I went with uh, two of these companies because um, my neighbors went with them. Um, two neighbors directly catty corner behind me went with one company and then someone across the street from me went with a different with the other company so uh, let me get back to the story so um, one was called Oliver Fencing um, he came out a uh, very nice professional and uh, gave me a quote of um, seven thousand seven hundred dollars uh, for the size that I want and it's a pretty large area that I'm covering um, so he gave me a quote and um, it was a good good quote I thought it was a little pricey so you know of course I wanted to make sure that I got some more um, quotes uh, the next company that came out is Ray's Fencing um, so Ray came out he did the measurements uh, he gave me a quote of um, $6,800 $6, uh, and then uh, because I told him that I would pay uh, by check he came down to $6,500 which was which was great now before I tell you about the last company so the thing is with an HOA, uh, you know, I have to get approval in everything. So I have to give, um, I have to give um, the dimensions of the fence, um, the height, the gate entrances, the type of fence, the color, so basically I had to do, oh, I better stop and get some gas too. Uh, so I had to do all of that um, ahead of time. And I had to even send like a picture. Well, I had to draw on the plot exactly where the fence was going to sit. So, um, Oliver Fencing, they had no problem. They did that and sent it to me. Ray's Fencing, um, when we drew it, he took a screenshot of it with his phone. And I tried and tried and tried to submit it that way. And the HOA kept saying when she tried to put it, print it out and submit it to the... Um, the board to approve it it was distorted otherwise when she go to print it out it was so little 
uh, and when you try to blow it up, you couldn't see none of the writing or anything like that on it. So basically, those pictures didn't work. I contacted him, told him uh, that a picture from your phone that you took me holding a piece of paper isn't working. Can you send it to me in a PDF form? Well, he didn't know how to send it to me in a PDF form. Um, so we went back and forth for, we've been going back and forth for almost three weeks now. Um, so after two and a half weeks and he never reached out to me, I just decided, okay, I'm going to call one more company. So I called Lowe's, Lowe's Home Improvement. The guy came out the next day, did the measurements, uh, sent me everything that I needed. And he actually um, matched the price. He originally had said $7,800. And I just basically said, well, you know, I got these other two quotes. One is actually in your ballpark and one is lower. So he said, well, send me that information and I'll see if I can match it. So he was able to match uh, Ray's fencing uh, for $6,500, which was great that he was able to match that. So that's who I'm going to go with, with Lowe's. But let me tell you guys about this morning. I get a uh, text this morning from Ray's Fencing wanting to know uh, if I ever heard back from the HOA. I basically told him, very professional, uh, unfortunately, um, I sent you several emails as well as the HOA and you never responded. So I decided to go with a different company. He replies back, do you believe in karma? Do you believe in karma? Then he said, I've done pictures with taking screenshots of my phone with several individuals and never had any problems. Obviously, you must be a little kind of stupid that you can't get the pictures to work. Basically, this mf -er is calling me stupid. And I tried to explain to him, it wasn't me, it was the HOA. They're the ones that are having a problem with it, not me. So I just replied back to him, that was very unprofessional with you, and uh, you have a nice day. He proceeded to just keep coming back and texting. I just ignored him and blocked him. Yeah. So, that's my story with uh, with the fence. So, now I'm on with my way to Lowe's, and they will definitely get the job done. So, guys... I will see you in the next video. I am not going to let his ignorance uh, ruin or spoil my day. Smooches.